This is News 4 Tucson, live at 6. Flying high through the sky, it is the eve of Davis Monthan's 2016 Open House and Air Show. That's the Air Force's chance to reach out and thank you for your support. You'll go behind the scenes at DM and see the aircraft that they operate. The F-16 alone, by the way, worth almost $20 million. And Steve Ryan's been flying high today, learning everything he can and losing something. Right, Steve? My breakfast, my yeah. lunch, my dinner from last night, and almost my willpower. But I salvaged that after the flight because uh, the pilot told me I pulled 8.5 G's, which is actually pretty significant, and I even got a certificate out of it. But uh, don't get me wrong here, Chrissy. I wanted to cower in the fetal position in the back of this airplane. There's a lot of cool stuff out here. You got this helicopter here. This is a workhorse. This is a beast. This thing can pull a lot of weight. But now, what I flew in was the racehorse. That's it right there. That's the very plane I flew in. That's an F-16 Fighting Falcon. The Air Force Thunderbirds here. That engine on the back, they don't measure it in horsepower or anything like that. All I know is they call it thrust. And that thing thrusted me so far up into the air, so fast. It was jolting, but it was also one of the best experiences I've ever had, Chrissy. Check this out. Changing the right? Yes, sir. You stay here. I got my flying orders Friday. And let's just say... Honorary Thunderbird patch, so we're going to go ahead and patch you here on the right side. Well, Thank you. Now, now take your shot. Now I look official, right? Thank goodness someone else was piloting. How'd I do? You did great. Major Scott Petz yeah, is far too back. kind. He's the number eight Air Force Thunderbird. The Major put me through some major paces in his F-16. Rolls, loops, and everything in between. This is a high G aircraft. You pulled eight and a half G's today where it's capable of pulling nine plus G's. I'm kind of glad the ginormous jet engine drowns out my groans and sighs, but my heaving chest kind of sums it up. It was intense, a testament to the focus and skills fighter pilots need. So was making it back safely. Yeah. I feel very safe with you on uh, our side. Well, thanks, but I appreciate that. The pilots also appreciate the men and women on the ground. Let me just look over everything one more time. The backbone and the majority of the Thunderbird team. There are about 100 people who keep those planes flying, and it's around the clock. That plane has been on the tarmac here for hours today, and that guy is still working on it. I mean, they really are the backbone of what happens out here. And that dang engine on that plane, unbelievable. It, it was an amazing experience and, and well worth the uh, air sickness, if you will. I'm going to be diplomatic on that, but we know what really came up. Um, it, it was also really good flying weather out there today. But that's, uh, of course, Matt's department. And it was amazing. I mean, the sun over the mountains. And this is interesting. This is kind of your department. Uh, the aircraft was flying in and out of the mountains, weaving in and out, just like a movie in the peaks. And it was jolting. I mean, oh, yeah. it was very turbulent. The pilot said it was the heat coming off the mountains causing that turbulence. Sure, Steve. It's it's rising air's convection, and that's why oftentimes in the summer times when you fly into cities like Denver, uh, Phoenix, even Tucson, around the mountains, you get those currents. And you were up close and personal to that. I've had enough just thinking about it. I'm going to step away now well, and let him Really quickly, to quote you, you said you came so close to the dang saguaros, you could see the needles on them. Yeah, I could see the needles on the saguaros. <laughs> I mean the skill of those pilots precision pilots precision planes amazing equipment and the people who fly them all right thanks steve right. meanwhile let me call over uh captain casey osborne and he's with dm how are you doing casey not too bad how are you sir good briefly we're uh, running a little bit out of time but talk a little bit about uh, thunder and lightning over arizona tomorrow we got, we got open house it's for the open to the general public gates open at nine o'clock the air show is going to start at about 11 o'clock free of charge bring out it's going to be the uh, bring out the entire family it's going to be the best show you see all year and we will see those thunderbirds in the air you sure will sir all right captain thanks so much thank you uh, meanwhile beautiful day out here weather-wise we have temperatures in the 80s but slightly well maybe not slightly a lot cooler tomorrow how about your sunday full forecast seeing a few all right lots of fun out there tomorrow bring sunscreen a hat and all that good stuff thanks matt all right you want to see the high flying action thunder and lightning over arizona starts at 9 a.m tomorrow and it's free the event and parking there's a list of items that you can't take on base, though, so be sure to check that out at KVOA.com.